Good afternoon. Command Sergeant Major Halliburton of the 40th Military Police Battalion. We're going to talk about two more things in accordance with ADP 6-22. That's attributes and competencies. Now, a lot of soldiers in today's Army are not really familiar with the leader requirements model. What is the leader's requirements model? Believe it or not, most non-commissioned officers in our Army are evaluated based on the leader's requirements model. But what does that mean to soldiers? What does character, presence, intellect, leads, develop, and achieves really mean? Does it, are they punchlines? Are they thoughts? Are they something actionable? Is it something realistic or unrealistic? But what is competencies and how does competencies affect attributes? Attributes are something that a leader has, a leader of character, leader that they possess the army values, very empathetic. Presence is something that military and professional bearing is a foundation of. Intellect, having that mental agility, being a creative, or more importantly, a critical thinker. As we look at leads, develop, and achieve, which are the competencies of our profession, can I lead others? And what does lead others really mean? Develops creating a positive environment, a positive environment that soldiers can thrive in and achieves, bottom line, get results. That's what we do. In totality, the leader's requirements model is something that we as soldiers must understand and more importantly, we as leaders must enforce. Justice 7, thank you.